I can't express how casual they were acting when they told us almost absentmindedly, oh yeah, Darby Allen got run over by a car yesterday. And if it was yeah. anyone else, <laughs> if it was any other wrestler ever, I would say, wait, 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 go back. He got run over by a what? When? It's Darby Allen getting run over a car sounds like a typical Thursday. <laughs> so yeah, what's that big you know, deal? You know, I was, uh, this was, the show aired Friday. And uh, Friday, I spent all day volunteering at Paisley's school. They have this watchdog program. And so I was there all day, hanging out with these kids and making sure there were no fights on the playground. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And anyway, then uh, then I came home, and uh, then we had to go to Granny's. And then after that, I went and I taught jujitsu. And then I came home and helped put the kids to bed. And then, because we were traveling the next day, I had to just immediately start watching shows. And I started watching Rampage. The reason I bring all of that up is... I was disconnected from social media that entire time. I was not uh, on Twitter. I was not on our front page. I was living the life of a normal human. Good and for you. so when I when I turned on Rampage and they just nonchalantly mentioned Darby is coming off being hit by a car yesterday, I said the same thing. I was like, "What? Wait, hold on a second. And they were so casual about it, like everybody knows. And I was like, "I don't know." I, I didn't know this. Like, I mean, I don't know what they were going to do. Like, if there was, like, footage on the news, they could have aired or something like that. But that seems like a pretty fucking big story to just nonchalantly drop with the presumption that everybody that watches Rampage knows that Darby Allen got hit by a car. Because I had no earthly idea when, when I started watching this show. And then he's out here and he does this match. And he ain't going halfway in this match. Him and Lee Moriarty. I mean, I thought this match was really good. I thought yes. Darby looked great, especially now that I hear the guy got hit by a car. And then, you know, Lee Moriarty looked great in this match as well. And he ends up hitting the coffin drop. And then afterwards, if that wasn't crazy enough, he goes up on the stage and Swerve comes out and he wants Darby oh. to shake his hand. Oh. Darby ignores him, blows him off. And Brian Cage runs out and he kills Darby and he grabs him. And he goes through the F5, but he has a Brock one where Brock just tosses the guy in the air. And Darby spins and spins and spins and lands right on his fucking face on the ramp. Looked like it totally sucked. Oh, yes. And, you know, through all of this, I'm thinking, and he got hit by a fucking car. Yeah. Like, dude. So anyway, uh, Prince Nana and the embassy and mogul affiliates emerged. But, like, that's a secondary story, too. Darby got hit by a car and then wrestled. And then was killed. They they showed a, a close up on his back. He's got road rash on the right side of his back and arm. Um, and then he goes out and wrestles a match and gets tossed high in the air by Cage. The man's an animal. I don't know the technical term, but there are some trees that when they, they when they, their seeds fall, we called them helicopters when I was a kid, but they okay. fall and spin through the air like this. Yeah, yeah. That's what Darby did when Brian Case threw him. Yeah, bro. I, I know. I know this sounds like a joke, but I mean, I don't know anything about the car accident. Like, I don't know how hard he was hit. I don't know. You know, was he sideswiped? I don't he know. Got road he rash. Was. Like, I don't know what the hell happened. Okay, but dude, I saw Brian Cage throw this guy, and this was not a bump in the ring. No. This was a bump on the hard stage, and it looked like he landed right on his face and head. And I was sitting there thinking, dude, which was worse? What happened with the car, or what happened on the ramp? Like, that bump on the ramp was scary looking. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why You're does he do that? me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song. For the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. Boo. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing.
What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.